Hey, what's up guys, Sepp here, and today I'm at the Honor headquarters getting a chance to test out this awesome device, it's a Honor 4X. So let's have a quick look at how the device functions and how it looks. But before that, let's do a quick unboxing. And like you can see, the 4X comes in Honor's typical baby blue box. I really like this color as well as the glossy Honor logo on the box, which you only can see in certain light. After opening up the box, we are being welcomed by the 4X itself, but let's put it aside for a few more seconds and have a look what else comes in the box. Next up is a little booklet with a smiley on front, which functions as a little tab to pull it out, which should include the manual and warranty information, but because this isn't a retail package, it's not included. Next up is a little box with the same smiley, which this time does include something. It includes a Huawei branded charger as well as a micro USB cable. So back to the device for the hands-on, and the first impression I had when holding this device for the first time was that it's really big. But not in a negative way, this phone just feels really good in the hand, even being this tall. Another thing I also immediately liked is that the button placement is just perfect on this device. You can find all the buttons on the right side of the device, and this makes them easy to access when using the phone in one hand. Even for people with smaller hands. I think that this phone just has the right size, so even for them, it will be comfortable to use it in one hand. I also like that the power button has a different color than the volume rockers. This not only makes the design look better, but also can be handy to see which button you are pressing. And even though this phone has a plastic backplate, it doesn't feel slippery at all. I guess the reason for that is that the backplate has some texture to it, providing you of a lot more grip. And like the power button, the texture on the back also makes the design a lot more attractive. At least in my eyes. I just love the way how the phone looks and feels in the hand. I do must say that I'm a bigger fan of the black 4X. I just think that the texture on the back comes out better in black, giving the phone a cooler look. But that's just a personal opinion. The good thing is that the backplate is removable, so I hope that Honor will start selling separate backplates so you can easily switch between colors. So besides of the nice looking design, 4X also packs some cool features. The first one I tested is a feature that lets you draw a letter on the screen when the phone is in standby, and then opens the assigned app. I do find it quite a shame Honor only allows you to draw 4 letters, but maybe in a software update there will be support for more letters. The good thing about it though is that it always worked, which is the most important thing. Another cool feature is that when you lay your hand on a phone it will turn off its screen. I found this a very cool feature, but unfortunately it did not always work that well, and it also was difficult for me to figure out what was the best way to do the gesture. Maybe in a software update it will get more accurate, or maybe I just don't know how to do the gesture the right way. But the feature was there, and even though it didn't always work, I just loved it. Another thing that also drew my attention is the 4 exit screen. It really looks good, even though it's just a 720p screen. I also gave the camera a go, and I must say I'm quite impressed. This might be because the 4X has a 30 megapixel rear facing camera sensor with LED flash and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. I only think that the rear facing camera looks an awful lot like the iPhone 6 it camera, but with this design, I see that's a positive thing. All the shots I took with it came out great, even the selfies, and recording in 1080p also wasn't a problem, and fortunately the camera app allows you to zoom in and zoom out as well as focus while recording. And like all the pictures, the videos also came out great. Only when zooming in the quality decreased a bit, but I see that as being normal for a smartphone camera. The 4X is running KitKat, but Honor gave it their EMUI 3.0 skin, so it has a lollipop look and feel on top of it, and I really like that. I mostly don't like skins, but Honor really did a great job and I have no problem with their skin however. I really think that it looks great and you also have some cool gestures included to edit your home screen. I also found out that when you swipe down on your home screen, you will get a spotlight like search field to search something on your phone. And because of the lollipop skin, the off screen buttons also are lollipop ready. Unfortunately, the buttons do not have any backlight, so it can be difficult to find them in a dark place. I also found it a bit frustrating that before being able to use the app switcher, you need to press quite a long time on the app switcher button, but over at Honor they told me it's on purpose so you don't accidentally can open the app switcher. So guys, I guess this wraps up my exclusive unboxing and first look of the Honor 4X. By now I already love this device because from what I've seen of it. Also be sure to press that subscribe button to catch my review of this phone when it goes live because, yes, Honor also was kind enough to give me one to review. But you also need to subscribe to be the first one to hear when more of my hands on videos of Honor products go live, as well as some other review and unboxing videos. A massive thank you to Honor for making this video possible, as well as some upcoming videos, it really is awesome from them. So be sure to check their products out, and I will leave a link to all their social media as well as their site in the description down below. So, like always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.
We'll be right back. 